The large colon, also known as the ascending colon, is comprised of two horseshoe-shaped lengths of intestine. The large colon originates on the right side of the abdomen at the cecocolic junction, and terminates on the right side of the abdomen at the junction of the right dorsal colon with the transverse colon. In turn, ingesta moves through the right ventral colon, sternal flexure, left ventral colon, pelvic flexure, left dorsal colon, diaphragmatic flexure, and right dorsal colon. The most pronounced changes in the diameter occur at the pelvic flexure and at the junction between the right dorsal and transverse colons. There are four longitudinal bands on the ventral colons, one on the left dorsal colon, three on the right dorsal colon, and two on the transverse and descending colon. The ventral colons also are characterized by sacculations. The large colon, also known as the ascending colon, is comprised of two horseshoe-shaped lengths of intestine. The large colon originates on the right side of the abdomen at the cecocolic junction and terminates on the right side of the abdomen at the junction of the right dorsal colon with the transverse colon. In turn, ingesta moves through the right ventral colon, sternal flexure, left ventral colon, pelvic flexure, left dorsal colon, diaphragmatic flexure, and right dorsal colon. The most pronounced changes in the diameter occur at the pelvic flexure and at the junction between the right dorsal and transverse colons. There are four longitudinal bands on the ventral colons, one on the left dorsal colon, three on the right dorsal colon, and two on the transverse and descending colon. The ventral colons also are characterized by sacculations.